Throughout World War II, thousands and thousands of soldiers from Poland battled to safeguard and recuperate their country ravaged by war. Sacrifices made are still kept in mind throughout Poland, particularly the contributions of one especially heroic soldier. The brave and devoted Private Wojtek took a trip with the army from Poland through the mountains in Iran onto the European battlefields. He assisted his brothers-in-arms to accomplish a pricey, however crucial Allied triumph in Italy. Private Wojtek never ever set foot on the soil of Poland throughout his lifetime, yet today statues commemorating Wojtek are erected all over Poland. All this despite the fact that this soldier they honor was not Polish nor human. Private Wojtek was a large brown bear that weighed 500 pounds. At the start of April 1942, the migrants from Poland had actually sailed across the Caspian Sea. When they docked, they were still more than 100 miles from the desired location, a camp for civilians near the city of Tehran. They rested near the ancient and old city of Hamadan. Here, a group of kids from Persia surrounded a young female Polish citizen, 18-year-old Irina Bokiewicz. Irina observed that the young men were having fun with something that was moving in a bag. This something that was moving was little, furry, and brown. It was a small bear cub that one of the young boys had actually saved in one of the mountain ranges after a hunter eliminated his mum. The tiny animal, just a few months old, was scrawny and underfed, similar to the young boys themselves. Close by Polish military officer, Lieutenant Anal Tarnowieski, saw Irina's interest for the baby bear cub. Possibly swayed by the lovable bear, or maybe by the girl, Lieutenant Tarnowieski gave the kids a couple of cans of food, a Swiss army knife, and a bar of chocolate in trade for their little pet. Irina gave the baby bear to the soldiers of Anders' army. The baby bear was taken in by the army's 2nd transportation business, which later on ended up being the 22nd Artillery Supply Company. Soldiers called him Wojtek, the small type of the name Wojciech, a typical Polish name that means happy warrior. A sergeant named Peter Prendis was designated as Wojtek's primary guardian. Quickly, Wojtek finished from condensed milk to marmalade, fruit, syrup honey, and he grew quickly. As Anders' army headed towards the country of Palestine to intersect with British forces, Wojtek matured having fun with Prendis and his other military buddies. They taught him to salute and wrestle. Wojtek took pleasure in sticking around in the camp's food prep location, where he would gladly consume anything the chefs gave to him. When Wojtek had actually been an excellent bear, the men would offer him a red wine or beer, which he would slurp down and then look sadly into the bottle until the military guys took the tip and gave him another. Wojtek was offered a big wooden dog crate to rest in at night, and he was given the ability to roam totally free around the camp, with one exception, the camp tent for showering. The water for the camp actually had to be brought in or delivered, so Wojtek was locked out of the tent for showering to keep him from depleting this valuable resource. One fortunate day, throughout his morning patrol throughout the military camp, Wojtek found the shower camping tent opened and walked in to delight in a fast shower. When he entered the shower tent, he came upon a spy of Arab descent. This spy was trying to hide until he could steal the military camp's ammunition from the stockpile. The spy was detained, and Wojtek's position in the camp climbed up from preferred family pet to cherished hero. Wojtek stuck with his band of soldiers. In the beginning, Wojtek would ride in the front seat of a vehicle, but as he grew larger, he would ride in the bed of larger trucks where he might extend and lay stretched out. Difficulty raised its head in the form of military administration red tape. British High Command didn't allow animals to accompany military men into battles. Also, animals were definitely not enabled to get aboard troop transportation ships. Wojtek's military dealt with the issue head-on by working around the rules. The soldiers got Wojtek signed up as a soldier in the Polish army. Equipped with a brand new identification number and a book for pay stubs, Private Wojciech Wojtek Persky, the surname describing Wojtek's origins from Persia, got aboard the transportation ship with his group of soldiers and cruised towards Italy. For four months, the Allies attacked the German battle lines in a group of extremely costly attacks that eventually left 55,000 Allied troops and over 20,000 German soldiers dead. There were also an abundant amount of civilian casualties. The Polish Second Corps, consisting of Wojtek's military regiment, showed up a couple of weeks prior to the fourth and last Allied attack. 
The battle started on May the 11th of 1944. On this day, there was an enormous weapons barrage from more than 1,600 weapons. The 22nd Artillery Supply Company was designated to assist in providing an artillery encampment with ammo. This was no simple supply task. The soldiers needed to drive their trucks, packed with large amounts of munitions and boxes of supplies, up narrow mountain roadways with various sharp turns. After arriving at the weapons positions, the soldiers of the 22nd Artillery Supply Company removed the ammunition and supply boxes as rapidly as possible, then proceeded down the mountain again to begin the task all over. Each case of artillery shells weighed in excess of 300 pounds and needed four guys to carry them. However, Wojtek easily carried case after case to the filling station. Wojtek even began stacking the cases to make the task much easier for the soldiers raising the ammo cases onto the trucks. Polish soldiers that were veterans of the campaign of Monte Cassino later on happily reported that Private Wojtek did not ever drop a single artillery shell. Because of Wojtek's aid, the 22nd Artillery Supply Company provided more than 17,000 loads of ammo to the Allied weapons encampments throughout the fight. After the fight, Private Wojtek was promoted to the rank of Corporal because of his worthy heroic service. The 22nd Artillery Supply Battalion showed him honor by embracing a representation of a bear holding a weapon shell as their main symbol. They used it happily on their banners, uniforms, and vehicles. As the war came to a close, Corporal Wojtek was sent out with the rest of his soldiers to the country of Scotland to start the procedure of demobilization. In the month of October in 1946, Wojtek discovered himself in the Winfield camp for displaced persons on Sunwick Farm, with people that were also part of the Polish Second Corps.